Hi, this demonstration will walk you through how to use uh, the Dispatch Bot Driver app. Uh, it is available currently for Android and iOS. You can go to the Google Play Store and, or the Apple App Store respectively. Um, look for Dispatch Bot Driver and download it and install it. Um, your drivers will just need to know the email address and password um, that would be assigned to them um, from within Dispatch Bot. Um, right here I have my Android emulator running with um, Dispatch Bot driver running uh, in a tablet view. Um, so I'm going to log in with my driver account, uh, my password, and when I hit log in, this is the screen that I see. Um, on the left here I have a, uh, a view of how the dispatchers um, would see the trips. So here we have John West scheduled to be picked up at 11.25, scheduled to be dropped off at 11.45. And that replicates here on my driver's app. I see the pickup time and I see the drop off time as well as the pickup address, the drop address. Um, so when the driver logs in, um, it'll default to today. They see the time their shift is scheduled to start and the time that their shift is scheduled to end, as well as um, the trips uh, within here. We only have one trip scheduled, so one leg, uh, but each leg will have two separate um, time points. The pickup time, the scheduled pickup time, and the scheduled drop-off time. Now my driver at the beginning of ship, shift will just tap uh, start shift. It gives me some instructions here. Are you ready to start your shift? Uh, the time it was scheduled to start. And I just click start shift. I can enter an updated odometer reading. Click save. And now I have started my shift. It will uh, record that time point in Dispatch Bot um, for you to be able to potentially do payroll or for uh, attendance. And I'm going to tap on the first trip in my list. Uh, the most current step will be always at the top. The next step will be um, at the bottom. Or excuse me, the previously completed step will be at the bottom. So here we have an 1125 pickup for John West. I'm going to tap that and it gives me all the trip details, the client name, the broker, mobility aids, the pickup address, the phone number, as well as notes. Um, I could add notes as a driver. At the bottom of the app are always my options. So here right now I have navigate and I have on route as my options. Um, so I'm going to hit on route to start, which will timestamp the time I started working on that trip. Um, started on route at 11.13 a.m. From here, I get I have new options at the bottom. I have navigate, arrived, or no-show. Um, I'm going to do navigate, which will give me turn by turn directions from where I'm at in whatever uh, GPS app is available to me. Uh, in dispatch bot, however, the trip gets automatically updated to driver on route and the time that the driver was on their way. So this will always match up for your drivers and for your dispatchers. Um, it changes the status to orange, which then, at just at a glance, I know that my driver is on his way to that particular trip. Um, so we'll pretend that we've navigated to um, the client's pickup address in this case. And once we get there, we tap Arrived, which timestamps the time we got to that location. Arrived at location at 11.14. At this point, as a driver, I would go knock on the door, get my client back into the vehicle, into the vehicle, secure their equipment, whatever it may be, and once my client is secured and me as a driver am sitting back in the driver's seat, uh, ready to go, I will tap picked up. Um, I enter my updated odometer reading, save and mark complete, and now that step is done. So it shows me all my steps here up at the top, the time I was on route, the time I got to the location, the time I left the location, and then the odometer reading when I arrived to that location as well. I go back to my manifest, and that step moves to the bottom, and now I drop off. Now I'm here to set to drop uh, John off by 11.45. In dispatch bot, it changes that trip status to picked up, the time that I got there and the time that I left and records the odometers on the back end. So it makes it very easy for your dispatcher. Um, so here I'm going to tap, I have an 11.45 drop off for John, I'm going to tap that there 
my options right now are to navigate or say that I've arrived. I'm going to again navigate um, to indicate that or to show that I'm on my way, to get my directions from where I'm at to where I need to go. And then once I arrive at that location, in this case the drop off location, I'll tap arrived which timestamps again the time that I got there. Um, I can then have the client sign on the smartphone or on the tablet with their finger. Save that signature. Then once um, my client is out of the vehicle into their appointment, I'm back in the driver's seat, uh, ready to go. I'll tap complete. Enter my updated odometer reading save and mark complete and now that step is done if I go back to my manifest it shows the, um, that that leg has now been completed I've picked them up I've also dropped them off um, and now I have no trips for the rest of the day and I'm able to end my shift um, in dispatch bot it updates the status to delivered records the time you got there records the time you left as well as the odometers on the back end um, so if this were to be done for the day I would just tap end shift, end my shift, enter my updated odometer, or when my shift was ended, save, and now I'm done for the day. Um, at that point, I can log out of the application, and I am done. And that's a, just a quick and easy overview of how to use the driver app for DispatchBot.